like all the emotions tied with being a vegan, I don't necessarily relate to the emotion part of that. To make an ethical decision, do you have to feel a certain way about it or can you just do it without feeling anything? Also, am it's I going to have to change your mind because I don't think I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, we'll just use it as a talking prompt. Okay. So yeah. Good. So what's your name again? I'm Victoria. Victoria Cole. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. So, Victoria, our prompt today is a feminist drinking cow milk is ironic. Changed my mind. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I'm a little confused. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I think I need a little bit of explanation behind it. Sure. So the reason I came up with this sign um, is because of the dairy industry. Okay. Um, are you familiar with standard practices in the dairy industry? Um, if we're talking like animal cruelty and that kind of thing, like, yeah. But if okay. you're talking Can you describe the process of how milk is made? Like how for, milk is made? Correct. That I know of? Yes. Um, that I know of, um, I know that we have, like, we, like, mass produce, like, multiply cows. Um, and so they're put in facilities that, like, aren't clean, aren't, like, well taken care of. Um, and then I know that we, like have a whole bunch of cows that we milk and then there's a bunch of preservatives and chemicals put into milk that's a basic that's my knowledge <laughs> cool cool and uh you know what do you think about um the conditions that you mentioned have you seen any videos or anything about how dairy cows are treated yeah i have um i don't agree with them for sure uh, i think they're pretty disgusting right um and i think we could do better well, getting back to the sign, and this is something I didn't know either, like uh, before I went vegan. Um, in the dairy industry, right, cows have to be pregnant in order to produce milk. Right. So what happens is, is a farmer, in 60% of dairy farms, they use artificial insemination. So the process starts where a farmer will masturbate like a male bull and take their semen, and uh, then they'll stick their arm like up the female cow's rectum to grab their cervix. And uh, once they do that, position the cervix, they'll artificially inseminate them. And once they give birth, they take the cow's baby away. So the reason I made this sign that a feminist drinking cow milk is ironic is because, you know, feminists tend to be like pro-choice, right? and they tend to be in favor of a woman's right to bodily autonomy. Would you, would you agree that's a good characterization of like what most feminists would believe? Yeah. So I think that it's ironic for a feminist to purchase dairy products that contribute to that animal abuse because it violates a cow's right to bodily autonomy and reproductive freedom. So can you kind of understand like where I was coming from with the sign? Do most feminists also have strong viewpoints on female animals? I don't know. I, I think that including myself before I went vegan, like I, I had a strong like speciesist viewpoint to where I didn't give animals much consideration at all. Um, you know, the day I went vegan, like, um, you know, I thought that milk didn't kill cows. You know, I thought that when I drank milk, and I used to drink a lot of milk, that, uh, you know, the cows lived. But that's not what happens. You know, after about four pregnancies on average, they, um, they send the cows to a slaughterhouse to where they're, they have their throats cut and they're turned into, like, hamburgers and shit. Pardon my language. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. So, knowing that now... Like, what are your thoughts on animals? Do you, do you think that cows should have the right to, to bodily autonomy and to be free from, like, sexual abuse, pretty much? Or would you identify the process of artificial insemination as, like, sexual abuse against an animal? Honestly, I haven't thought about these things much. Um, I'm sure it's painful, right? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming that if it's painful, like, then the obvious answer would be, like, that's not good for a cow. Um, I'm assuming that if 
artificial insemination is the way that we've gone about it. It's artificial, so there's probably a natural way to go about milking a cow. So I'm sure there's plenty of other options and other ways that we could go about, sure. like getting milk from a cow. It's one thing to talk about this, and I, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't think that milk is necessary for human health or development. Would you agree with that? Um, what I know of milk, I know that, like, it's important, like, in a human's diet to have milk up until, like, the age of, like, three, I believe. Um, so I think, yes, you still need it until a certain age. Most people are lactose anyways. Yeah. I think it's, like, a rarity to right. not be lactose. And so, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I guess, like, if we don't need cow's milk to survive or anything, then there's no reason to put a cow through anything painful. Is that the point you're getting at? Yeah. Yes, okay. I'm trying to get to I, I agree. I agree completely. Uh, would you be willing to watch like a seven-minute documentary about that process and what happens in slaughterhouses? No, thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. That's okay. That's okay. It can be a day wrecker. Yeah. But I would encourage you, um, you know, before you consider buying these products, right, do you plan on buying milk? in the future knowing what you know now about what happens to cows? I already don't drink milk. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay, I should have asked that before. (laughs) Damn, wow. (laughs) Well, good for you, good for you. What uh, what made you uh, make that decision? I'm lactose. Lactose intolerant, okay. I'm a little slow, like give me, give me, you know, some slack, I just. No, you're good. You know, yeah, I'm I'm also lactose intolerant, but. Most of the population is lactose intolerant. So what's your favorite plant-based milk? Um, My favorite plant-based milk, I was raised on almond milk. Well, I was raised on soy milk, but obviously there's all the controversy of like what does soy beans do to you and estrogen and hormones and stuff. So um, I really like the taste of soy milk, but for health reasons, um, I normally do almond or oat milk. Were you aware that uh, there are some studies showing that soy milk reduces the rate of uh, breast cancer? Yes, I've seen that. Yeah, it's crazy. Because it's one of those things, too, where it's like there's so much research on different things and they all say different stuff. Like one thing is like, oh, yeah, it jacks up your hormones. And then the other thing is like, oh, it like, you know, reduces your risk of cancer. So it's like there's just so many things out there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. um, You know, I I agree. There's a variety of sources. I think when we look for sources of information, we should look for peer reviewed scientific studies, you know, that have no industry bias. For sure. You know, and I, I mean. The soy milk, it's, um, there is a lot of propaganda against soy, yeah. but um, they're uh, on Healthline at least, healthline.com, it's reviewed by registered dietitians and physicians. They say that soy is healthy for, for males and females and it doesn't cause any like hormonal problems. Interesting. So um, I, I guess we can kind of agree on this then, right? This topic. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. I think I'm still like trying to figure out the. Because okay, whenever I think feminist, I think like a woman who is like really big on like women's rights, like someone who's really big on like empowering women. I think of someone who thinks of like equality between women and men, and so I think my disconnect is like where's the connection of like animals to feminism and I get the thing of like okay like if feminists like if feminists care about like women and women empowerment and all that stuff then like maybe the tie is like well these are female cows but in my head like being aware and pro animal anything like is different than being pro human women you know what I'm saying what do you think makes it different um we're two different species right right that's, that's what I got for you, man. Cool, cool. Well, let's, I'm going to give you a thought experiment. Okay. Because, uh, you know, I think, I think that's a conclusion we can be led to, to where it's okay to, you know, cause one animal's rights to be violated because they're not humans and humans another. Well, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying I don't see the connection between the two. Got it. Because if you're saying, like, if you're saying like oh someone who cares about animals they should care about this well yes like that is true yeah humans are animals too though right no (laughs) yeah (laughs) they're mammals yeah but they're not humans okay we'll we'll put that one aside for a bit here's a thought experiment though 
say that there's another species from another planet, right? Uh And they come to Earth. Uh And they're far more intelligent than human beings are. Mm -hmm. And they have the capacity to take human women and put them through the same process as a cow goes through that we discussed earlier. Would the aliens be justified in forcefully impregnating a human, taking her baby, killing her baby, and then stealing the milk that's intended for her baby just because we're a different species? Would that justify the alien's treatment of our race? Why or why not? No, but also that's not happening, and that's not what we're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) But, I mean, they're a different species, right? Yes, they're a different species. Okay. So you're saying that just because they're a different species, it doesn't make it right for them to treat us that way. I think you're taking things and you're running with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, because, like, what we're talking about is something that we can see, that we can talk about right now. Like, there are cows, there are animals, there are things that exist. Okay. There, and then with this other thing, like humans, there are humans, they, they exist. I, I guess what you're trying to say is that feminism in general is focused on humans as yes. a right. Yes, yeah. Okay. I, I was a little lost there. Okay, that's fair. So. That's okay. But, um, I mean, I do think it's ironic. And the reason why is because cows are also like women to me. You know, I know like it can be an insult if you call a woman a cow. I love cows. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, But I I volunteer at an animal sanctuary and uh, there are rescued cows there and they're very gentle. Yeah. And they're they're like large dogs, Mm -hmm. you know, and they like they like being petted and, you know, grass yeah yeah yeah. so like cow to me is not an insult because a cow is like more more mellow than most humans out there someone were to call me a cow i'd be like you know but i I get it with women because you know women have been forced into reproduction throughout history and had their rights to bodily autonomy uh, autonomy violated more so than men so i think is is an insult that makes it a bit more kind of sensitive, you yeah. know, when applied to, to a woman as to someone like me. I agree. Oh, God. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Have you thought about becoming vegan? Why or I have, why not? actually. Yeah. yeah, I have. Um, I was vegetarian for like a month and a half one time, and I was like, okay, well, I really enjoy vegetarian, and so I wonder if vegan, like, would be a thing. But I don't... I don't necessarily, like, all the emotions tied with being a vegan, I don't necessarily relate to the emotion part of that or, like, the... What, what do you mean by emotions? Which mo- like emotions? Anytime, anytime that I've heard someone talk about, like, oh, this is why I went vegan, I was a vegan because, like, oh, I saw how animals were being treated and so I stopped. Or, uh, I mean, most of the time it's that of, like, I feel for these animals, I feel for this thing. I think they're are ways like to go about it that is not I mean if we want to talk about like getting organic things if we want to talk about like like I've owned animals in my life and like have had like goats I've had chickens like that kind of thing and like if we're talking those kind of things like I don't think I think there's ways around like violating animals to get those things if that makes sense so to get animal products yes and so like for me whenever I think vegan like I don't want to I don't want to just get rid of everything because animals aren't treated well necessarily that's not like the deciding factor for me because there are other ways to get those things that is not abusing animals right and i i would point this out first because i I heard like two points you're making Mm -hmm. um but being vegan is the best way to ensure that we don't violate the rights of animals Mm -hmm. because you know there's cruelty inherent to all animal products Mm -hmm. um the the first thing i heard is that you know, a barrier to you becoming vegan is that there are many vegans that approach it on an emotional level mm-hmm. instead of maybe a rational level. Mm-hmm. Does that sound like similar to what you were trying to say? Yeah, I think so. Do you think that you have to have an emotional feeling about an issue um, to, to make the decision that's ethically right? Wait, sorry, I'm 
repeat to make an ethical decision do you have to feel a certain way about it or can you just do it without feeling anything i think i see a lot of people who are able to make it without feeling like like being led by emotion if that makes sense yes yeah i I kind of i think i'm getting where you're going with that and you know like there are some things we want to do our emotions guide us one way you know i've i have someone cut me off and like i want to flip them off and like drive up you know honk and stuff and that's where my emotions are guiding me right but the logical part of my brain says that i don't want to cause harm to anyone in traffic so i'm not going to do that yeah you know yeah do you think you could be vegan if you just come to the conclusion like hey you know, I don't want to cause unnecessary suffering to animals, so therefore I'm not going to pay for them to be put through unnecessary suffering. I think, yes, I feel like that makes more logical sense. And yeah. As, as, yes. <laughs> I think, yeah. And I also, I think if there's, like, enough research done, if there's I respect enough, like, that. I respect to that. It, I think that that, yeah, yes. So that, yeah. to answer your question, <laughs> yes, yes. Cool, cool. And... I'll, we'll wrap this up because I know you, you've, been, you've been very patient and I really appreciate your time here. I think we've had a productive conversation. Um, what animal products do you think can be produced without cruelty and why? Anything with like goat milk in it, like be, just because I've raised goats and like I've, like, like I've learned like, oh, this is how you take care of them. This is how you like can like actually like productively do these things. This is how you can milk and it not be like painful like this is how you can you know like so for me like what I've seen and how I've been able to raise animals and take care of animals like I think when there's like one smaller scale like I think whenever it's too big like too big scale then it's like well you have to do a lot of things right there's no way to take care of all the animals Yeah. yeah so I think whenever it's on a smaller scale um you can like better take care of them I think also when you have more knowledge on the animal itself and when you have more knowledge on like how they respond to things like what they like what they are actually as an animal I think um you can take better care of them that way as well what if uh I'm not familiar with the farm you're referencing but I know with most goat dairies that it's pretty much the same as like the dairy industry with cows you know once the the goats are are spent you know that they're not producing enough milk Mm -hmm. that they send them to the slaughterhouse Mm -hmm. so i guess my final question would be is do you think that there's a humane way to to kill someone who doesn't want to die because i don't look at animals like a human i the way that you're wording it is like do you think that it's like right to kill an animal because they're a human too i don't look at them that way so i can't give you an answer to your question because i don't look at them that way well i I lied i I have a few more questions i'll let you go brother (laughs) (laughs) but that's that's I, i hear what you're saying what what difference between humans and animals do you think justifies killing an animal to to consume their body but makes it wrong to kill a human to consume their body. I don't think I want to answer any more questions. Cool. Well, I appreciate your patience, and uh, thanks for the interview. No problem. Yeah. Nice meeting you.